Hey guys, Mr. Krabs ASMR here, and I was watching one of my old videos where I offended everyone, where I talked about, oh, if you're a man, then people will disrespect you, but in reality, you're the one that disrespects them just by being a man, so that doesn't work out, so what I decided to do for you fellas today was to make an old-style Mr. Krabs ASMR video, because it was actually entertaining, more entertaining than me fucking making a RuneScape guide that's really bad on purpose, and people don't get that it's bad on purpose, and they take it legitimately, and then spam me with dislikes. So, today, we're going to be talking about black people. Now, I respect black people. <laughs> said, I respect black people and what they do for the community. And I believe that all of the whiteies and the honkies and the, the, the police need to pay reparations to all of my brethren. Because if you guys didn't know, Mr. Krabs ASMR lives in a black neighborhood. And my neighbors have the cops at their house probably every other day. My little brother can vouch for it. The cops have it. They're at their house about every other day, and there's no good reason for it. If they want to fight, then just let them fight. Let them, let them fight each other. Like, it, just let them keep it in the family. There's no need to fucking arrest their own family members. They're just fucking having a disagreement. Or like, it's, oh, so, someone calls the cops on them because they're smoking weed in the front yard. Who gives a fuck, dude? It's 2017. You just gotta let them do what they do, man. You should, but the white people like me, we're holding them down. If you didn't know, we're holding them down. I mean, we had to get a security camera installed because someone tried to break into our house and steal our TV one time. But that has nothing to do with the neighborhood I'm in. It has nothing to do with, with all of my neighbors being black. No, it has to do with them. With the, with the police holding down the community. The only choice they had was to steal the TV. The only choice they had was to shoot each other. That was the only choice they had. It's the only choice they fucking have. You guys gotta have some respect for the black community. All, all fellow white people, we need to, to come together. And every white person that watches this video needs to go to a black person and just hand them $20 and tell them you need this more than me. But before you do it, you gotta look, you gotta walk up to, to, to the nearest black person, look them up and down, and like eyeball them a few times, stare at their shoes for a few seconds, and then hand, and then pull out your wallet and hand them $20 and tell them, you, and you need to tell them that they need it more than you do. <laughs> and then you walk away. They'll know what you mean, dude. They'll get it. They'll get that you're just trying to help out the black race. <laughs> Trust me, they won't shoot you. <laughs> you won't get jumped. Trust me, they won't jump you for that. <laughs> They're not going to jump you for that. They're going to thank you, give you a firm handshake, and then walk the other direction. They're going to do a 360 and then walk away. This just in, I heard that the Mexicans are also being oppressed. So, every white person watching this video, go out to your nearest, near Jose or Joel's, and you need to just give them a, a free pair of Air Force Ones. That's what they really need, dude. Because I, I seen some Mexicans lowing, mowing the lawn at my grandparents' house one time. Because my uh, my grandparents are pretty wealthy, so they have a they have a lawn care service, and all the people working at the lawn care service are fucking Mexican, and they're wearing dirty shoes. So we all need to go out and give them new pairs of shoes, and and we need to employ them. We need to employ all the Mexicans because they're being oppressed by white folks like myself.
We're ruining this country. White people are ruining the country, guys. We're ruining it. We're ruining it. We're ruining the country. I can't. <sighs> We're ruining the country, fellas. I can't believe it. People like Buck Buckford, Chris Cuomo, Megyn Kelly, Alex Jones. We're ruining the country because we're white. We're ruining it. We're ruining it. Paul Joseph Watson, he's ruining the country too because he's white. Who else is ruining the country because he's white? Bill Clinton, he's a rapist. That's besides the point. Oh yeah, I have another public service announcement. Oh, uh, this just in. CNN is in fact ISIS. CNN is ISIS because they're holding our news hostage. And if the news anchors don't lie to us, then if, if they actually report truthful news, then they chop their heads off. So this just in, it's confirmed that CNN is ISIS. Oh, what else has been confirmed this week? It's been confirmed that Donald Trump is a homophobe. So we need to quickly impeach Donald Trump and get Mike in office. We need Mike Pence, our vice president, to be the new president of the United States because he will not stand for homophobia. He, he will support the LGBTQ plus ABCDEFG community as much as they could possibly be helped. Now I know I've said in my previous videos that, that certain homosexuals need to be thrown off of rooftops, but I didn't mean it. I was just drunk off of fucking my nanas. I was just high off of my nanas heart rate fucking medicine. Cause she has to take Coumadin. I've been taking my nanas Coumadin. It makes me feel real good inside. It makes me feel healthy. Yeah, when I get a scratch on my arm it bleeds for three and a half hours. But <laughs> that doesn't matter. Because when I take the Coumadin, it alleviates some of my privilege. Because that way, if, any, if I'm ever being privileged, they can just scratch my arm and I'll bleed out. Speaking of bleeding out, we need to support our other kin friends. Just because someone likes the taste of blood and they're a vampire kin doesn't mean you can oppress them. Just because they identify as part dog doesn't mean that they're mentally ill. It means that they're a person that deserves equal treatment. And another thing, just because women don't work as hard as men and earn less than men, we need to compensate for that and pay them more. We need to pay them more, fellas. Just so you know. Like, like, we need to treat women in the United States more like they treat women in countries like Syria. Alright? The she-bob, he-bob, kebab. It's very empowering for women. Very empowering. If you don't wear the, the, the hijab on your head, then you're not doing it right. That is the true symbol of feminism. And we need, also the United States need to let, needs to let in at least 55,000 Syrian refugees every three months. Because if we're not letting in at least that many, our country is going to be ruined. Our country is going to be ruined by, by, by white people. It's going to be ruined by white people. White people are ruining the country. We need to let in all the Muslims. We need to, we need Sharia law. We need Sharia law. If you get caught stealing from a fucking bakery, if you steal, if you stole a cookie, you get your fucking hand chopped off. If you're a woman, if you are a woman and you speak out against a man and he rapes you because of it, you need a you need a second woman witness to hold up against a man's word in court. No, women only had woman a woman's word is only half as good as a man's word in court. That's Sharia law for you. We need Sharia law in this country to empower everyone. All right. If you're openly homosexual, that's not okay. You need to be killed. If you are not a Muslim, that's not okay. You need to be enslaved, killed, or converted. One of those three. Oh, and did you know that you can rape your slaves? Despite, no matter what their age is, you can have sexual intercourse with your slaves. They're in Sharia law. So if you find a nine-year-old girl who you fancy and she's not a Muslim, you can just announce jihad on her. And either 
murder her. You can take her as a slave. And if you take her as a slave, then you can rape her. And if you rape a woman, and they don't have a male witness, or two women witnesses, well then, that's too bad. They're going to be put to death. So we need Sharia law in the United States now. Hey, the, the video reached 10 minutes. Mr. Krabs, ASMR.